OK, uh, I can remember a little bit of the position and it sort of makes sense um, for variations here that I think this was close to the position against John Reed when Barnett Elizabethans were paired against the strong Hackney team. So they had uh, Nicholas Walker on board one, two, one, five, Bob Eames and FM on board two. So I was playing John Reed on board three. So this came out of a Morris Smith gambit with uh, an early F4. So I had this position, black to play, he took my rook, and thankfully I didn't play rook takes e1, that would be the end, I think, of the game, if I played rook takes e1. Uh, instead I just I just go for his king um, in this position, with rook takes f7 check, king g8, and now uh, bishop takes g6. I'm not entirely sure this is... Uh, sound actually because we have queen b6 as a resource in this position uh, but let's just show uh, the game continuation was queen h4 I played here bishop takes h7 double check he plays king h8 and queen g7 mate so I was pleased to win that and I won I managed to scrape uh, in the next game a win and they held us to a draw actually on the four boards uh, because um, Paul Georgiou lost one game um, to to FM Eames and Nick Walker wiped out John Piggott on board one and uh, I think Alex had a one one all against uh, their strong junior player on board four so that was our hardest match uh, where we were held to a draw four board match so I was pleased with this win um, I'm I'm not 100% sure this is the exact position but let's let's examine you know if it would have been a disaster if uh, if rook takes e1. Let's just engine check here. If this is close to the position, queen b6 does seem. If the king's if the king's on g1, this is a big problem. <laughs> just 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 winning for black there. Um, now after rook takes f7, bishop takes g6, queen b6 here. Let's have a look at this position. So king h1, queen takes d6. So here there is a way of winning, not bishop h7, because king takes f7, and then there's nothing. But bishop h5 holding on to the rook. Okay, so that's cool. So I'm pleased about that. <laughs> so so if this was close to the position, which I'm not entirely sure it how close it is, but the combination seems okay. And a few people were watching, actually, when I was playing this. And one of, one of the people, I think, from YouTube, um, I'll put his name in the comments when I find it. I think he's messaged me as well. So... Or, or please add a comment to this video if if you were watching this game. So yeah, this came out of the Morris Smith Gambit, um, and um, yeah, I'm playing it quite unusually with the early f4. But there is there is a GM I've been playing in Bullet who also plays the Morris Smith Gambit with a quick f4. So it was a good weapon of choice against my opponent's Sicilian defence in this key encounter against um, the strong Hackney Blitz team. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so bishop takes e1. I just uh, did a demolition job here, basically, <laughs> just <laughs> in that in this position, mating on g7. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.